when you first open your uh, your file that you've been given, um, which Ride with GPS does not modify, unlike some other sites. Now, if you haven't got premium on Ride with GPS, it's well worth it. You can get it for ten dollars a month, which you can just use for one month to modify your uh, add to, to add cue points and have all the extra special bonuses. And when you cancel, it doesn't remove those the 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 points that you've added. You just cannot add any more. It's well worth at the end of the year getting somebody to get it for a gift because they generally do an offer. It's only sixty dollars a year, and uh, sometimes they add extra months on. So the first time you open it up, it gives you this default add to route point. So you can accidentally change the route. So I would recommend you change it straight away to the custom queue, which is what you want. Now if you zoom into the map, you can see there's not much detail on the ride with GPS maps. Change the map map it doesn't actually state Google Maps but it is Google Maps so you'll get information on places here so you might want to think that after about 50 miles I need to find some food so you follow the route and maybe you like some cheap Aldi goods so add the custom queue, just click on the route, you get this window, so add the food, the food icon, then add notes. It's not worth adding a description because the uh, Wahoo does not show the description part of it now. It used to. And save. And you'll see it now appears in the queue sheet. So we carry on along this way. Following the map. And just add queue points as you go. Now that bit there is interesting. Ride with GPS now highlights the fact that there is a section that is not paved, as it says. Now this doesn't necessarily mean it's off-road, um, but it's a good indication. Now you can use some of the other maps to see what it's like. Here you have OSM cycle map, which shows you cycle routes with the route number, National Cycle Route System, you can see there we've left that and we're going down to find some uh, not too bad hills. So this is cue points, so carry on as you can see, no accident that I'll modify the route because I'm on the custom back to Google Maps and we'll look for somewhere else. So there's Truro, and obviously the towns you're gonna to find stuff. So there you go. So it's as simple as that. So you've got your cue points, you carry on like that all the way through your uh, your route, and then save it.
Now when you view your root, you won't see the cue points in the root itself. When you um, want to export it, you want to export it as a TCX course file. Here you can see it's a notify before turn in uh, action. I've got it set to 60 meters. So what this means is uh, as the queue doesn't appear on the map until you're close to it, this gives you a heads up in case you want to miss it. Your Oahu will be back. So if you uh, manually load it to your uh, Wahoo, you can just download the TCX file there. One way it's useful to have it uh, highlighted on your Wahoo is if you select pin, it will then show a star on your Wahoo when it's loaded. 